What's going on, first grade? Mr. Hunter here with your uh, your community helpers. Uh, we're going to be looking at pages thirty to thirty or thirty-two. I'm sorry, thirty-two to thirty-four. Okay, thirty-two to thirty-four. Um, the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about teachers. We're talking about doctors. Talking about nurses. And I don't know if you know this or not, but this week is actually Nurse Appreciation Week and Teacher Appreciation Week. We're showing appreciation to people who are nurses who work in hospitals who are giving back and protecting and, and making sure that you're doing well especially right now with the coronavirus <clears throat> excuse me especially now with the coronavirus so many people are struggling going to the hospital and dealing with things um you and i are healthy and we're staying strong some people are really having some complications well the people that are helping them out are the nurses i have a lot of friends who are nurses they work in the hospitals back home and in, uh, in dc and they're out there right now. They're on the front lines. And so we're praying for them. We're sending them messages. We're saying thank you just for all your hard work. We're also doing that to all the teachers. So not just me, but teachers that you know. Maybe you know somebody at a different school. Teachers who are out there working and teaching and doing a lot of work. So we're showing appreciation to them. So if you know anybody that's a teacher in your family or maybe a neighbor or somebody else, you know anybody that's a nurse, even a doctor, but especially nurses this week, show them some love. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Let them know that you love them and you appreciate all that they do. I'm telling you right now, first grade, if somebody were to get a letter from you, Dylan, Eliana, Jeremiah, Sam, somebody were to get a letter from you, it would change their change their day. They would be so happy to bring a big smile to their face. All right. So I just wanna uh, just wanna drop that message on you today. Um, now today, I don't know if you turned to the page already, but we're talking about somebody who's a helper, and they don't want you to eat too much. They don't want you to eat too much bad food. They don't want you to eat too much candy. They say sugar, not too good for you. They want to see your smile. They want your smile to be nice and white and bright. They want your teeth and your gums to be healthy. Dude, this person is a doctor, but they're a special kind of doctor. Does anybody know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about a dentist. Yes, I'm talking about a dentist, okay? A dentist is a person that helps you take care of your teeth and your health in your mouth area, all right? So let's turn to page 32 and let's get started. <clears throat> All right, so first things first, what do your teeth do? Besides give you this beautiful smile, this bright smile, when you're feeling good and, and everybody can see how happy you are, all right? Your teeth, they help you with eating. So when you're getting food, your teeth you put in your mouth, it breaks down the food so that it can go down and digest all throughout your body, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Your front teeth, everybody look at your front teeth, all right? These are the special teeth. They're called incisors, all right? All these teeth right here, they're for biting food. Okay, so when you first put your food in your mouth, you these are for biting food. The back teeth, everybody point to the back right here. All right, point to the back, like right here on your jaw. Those are your back teeth. They're called the molars. They're for mashing and grinding food. So the front teeth, these are the incisors. They bite the food. The back teeth are for grinding the food and making it digestible. Okay, now these words, all right? Teeth help you say words correctly. Have your, everybody, everybody look at me. You're looking at me, give me a big smile and say tooth, tooth. Your teeth help you to say words properly, all right? Say gum, gum, not chewing gum, but just like your gums, your gum, all right? See how your tongue changes when you say teeth and gum, all right? I say teeth, usually my tongue is at the front of my mouth, right? Do you feel that? Yeah, your, your tongue is up at the front, teeth. But if you say gum, where, does your, where did your tongue go? Does it go in the front or does it go in the back? It goes gum. It stays right there in the back. Isn't that amazing? It's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm doing it right now, and I'm, I haven't done this before. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. All right? A dentist checks your teeth, and they want to make sure that they're growing properly. All right? You may want to make sure that you don't need braces or if there's any infection. They just want to check and make sure that everything's growing properly. Okay? They help with your tooth, toothaches. If you fall, if you chip your tooth, guess what? The dentist can help fix it. That's their job. Now, here's what else they do. <clears throat> excuse me if you ever eat too much candy don't brush your teeth don't take care of your teeth don't floss at my age i need to floss if you don't do those things you may get tiny holes in your teeth those are called cavities but guess what the dentist can help do that too he can help fix those and get those get rid of those they take x-rays of your teeth they want to make sure and see if there's any other trouble going on inside your mouth and you know what there's a couple of things they may tell you to do all right i'm going to read them off if you want to have strong teeth, they say, drink milk. Oh, we can eat cereal, drink milk, right? It says, eat healthy foods. I can do that. Limit sweets. So what does it mean to limit sweets? It means don't have too much. And yes, I know, Mr. Hunter, I eat 
some candy, I eat some snacks, but you must limit sweets, okay? It says chew sugarless gum. So you guys, you're not chewing gum, but when you do start chewing gum, don't always get the most sugary kind. That, that doesn't affect your teeth well. And then it says brush your teeth daily. Can you brush your teeth once a week? No. Brush your teeth twice a week. No. Brush your teeth daily, all the time. And you must always brush your teeth all the time because you're so young and so your teeth are still growing in. And the better you brush your teeth now, the more healthier your teeth are going to be. All right. Let's look at page 32 now at the picture. And there's a sentence. There's a poem. It says, my dentist is friendly to me. Is your dentist friendly, friendly to you? He checks my teeth carefully to be sure they are healthy. If a tooth aches, my dentist can help me. He can find out why it hurts. And if a tooth has a hole in it, the dentist will put in a fill. Wow, the dentist will really take care of you. It's just like a real doctor, except just for your mouth, okay? Now, on the bottom, it says, on the page 33, it says, it says my dentist tells me to brush my teeth after I eat and before I sleep. So the only thing that we can't do, we can't brush our teeth at school, but we brush our teeth before we come to school. And then when we get home, after dinner, or even at nighttime, we brush our teeth then. Make sure we always take care of our teeth. You brush down, so you have a toothbrush, you brush it down. And then you brush inside. And then you brush up, and then you brush the tops. So how many steps was that? Four steps. Do you guys follow those steps all the time? Let's be honest. We, always don't, we don't always follow the steps. But here is a nice guide to remember what we can do. So if you're watching this video today, I want you to try tonight to look at this picture and say, hmm, let me try to do that. So you brush down, you brush inside, you brush up, and then you brush the tops. Try that tonight. Let me know how it works. We'll talk about it tomorrow in, uh, after, uh, in our, in our uh, Zoom class, okay? Now, the proper toothbrush techniques. All these pictures, they show that we are to brush our top teeth down. They do this because it helps remove the extra crumbs. The reason why we do this, we have to break up everything. Sometimes food gets stuck in certain places, but you got to make sure you get it out because if you don't get it out and the food stays there, what happens? Sam, do you know? Jeremiah, what happens? Dylan, Eliana, the food just stays there. And if the food stays there, is that good? No, it's not healthy for your teeth. It's not strong. Okay. You want to make sure you address your brushing the upper and the lower, not just one place. Okay. Now I have a question for you. Looking at your teeth, looking at that picture, which teeth help you bite your food? Which teeth? The front or the back? All right. They're the front, but they're called the incisors. So if you think of the word scissors, just put in the word in in front of it, in scissors. Everybody say in scissors. So your front teeth are your, called your incisors. They are the teeth that help you bite your food. And what do, what do the, te what the teeth in the back, what are they called? They're called molars. Everybody say molars. Molars, they help mash the food. So you bite the food, then you mash it. You bite, then you mash. You bite, then you mash. Okay? Now, here are some other words you can say. Um, you may be able to try to say words with your teeth, um, with your teeth there and your tongue. Notice what words you can say without using your tongue. All right? Hi, hi, call. No, I'm, I'm using my tongue in all those words, but maybe you can try to find out something that you don't have to use your tongue for, okay? Let's turn the page. All right, so on, on the top of page 34, it, sells, it tells us some good tooth care habits. All right, so here's one. We talked about it earlier. One, drink milk every day to help your teeth grow strong and healthy. Number two, don't eat a lot of sweets. I know it's tempting right now, especially with us being home, and we're home, we have so much we want to do, and it's kind of like, oh, let's go grab a snack, let's grab this. Don't eat too much, all right? Number three, brush your teeth after you eat and before you go to bed, all right? That key word is and. Don't just brush your teeth one time. Brush them before and after you go to bed, all right? Number four, go to the dentist for a checkup to make sure your teeth are healthy. I know you guys have great parents, and I know they're taking care of you, but, you know, always check, you know, hey, mom, do I need to go to the dentist? Don't bother your parents, but ask them about that, all right? Number five, keep your fingers out of your mouth and do not suck in your fingers. You know what? I'm going to applaud you guys right now. I'm going to applaud you guys because that's something I never see us do. None of us have a problem with putting our fingers in our mouth or doing that. So you guys, you guys are, are really doing well in that area. Number six, don't chew on things like pencils or toys that are not food. So again, another round of applause. I've never seen any of you guys do that in my class. I hope you're not doing it at home. 
But if you are, you can stop. Don't chew on anything that's not food. All right. And then number seven, don't try to open things like wrap packages, nuts with your teeth. Ah, this is something I've seen you guys do. You've bit the edge of something or try to bite it open. Even though you get it open, don't do that. If you can't rip it or tear it, get somebody older who can. And don't use your teeth to do that because your teeth weren't made to do that. And it puts some strain and extra work on that. All right. Good tooth care habits include taking care of your uh, teeth, milk, all these things. Um, follow these steps, procedures, brushing your teeth multiple times. Before we end the day, I'm going to leave you with two more poems. We always have these poems here. So I'm going to leave you with two poems. And I'll have a video, a special video about a dentist in your, in your, uh, in your YouTube link here. Okay. Here we go. It's called, If I Were a Dentist. If I were a dentist, I know what I would do. Point to yourself. I know what I would do. I'd tell all the children, brush your teeth. So you guys brush your teeth. You remember getting brushing your teeth? Okay. Keep a smile like a new. So show me your big smile. That's not a big smile. Show me your big smile. Come on, Sam. I know you're smiling now, Sam. Jeremiah. You can put your head down like this and act like you don't want to smile, but I see you smiling. Eliana, you always smiling. Dylan, that's laughing. That's laughing. I didn't say laugh. I said smile. All right. Much better. Much better. Okay. Keep a smile like a new. And if any tiny hole should show, I'd say climb in my chair. All right. Climb in my chair. I'd make a little drill go bzzz, and I'd put a filling there. So it says take care of your teeth, brush your teeth. But if something happens, if a little hole comes, a little hole is called a cavity, I'll fill it. So I'll make sure the hole goes away. That's what a dentist would do. All right, one more poem. It's called, This is the Way We Brush Our Teeth. It sounds like the Mulberry Bush song. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. This is the way we floss our teeth, floss our teeth, floss our teeth. This is the way we floss our teeth so early in the morning. You guys like that? You guys can practice singing that song. So when you're brushing your teeth, this is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. You can just keep saying that part over and over. Because guys, you're supposed to brush your teeth for at least 30 seconds. So brush your teeth, make sure you're getting all the sides there. Make sure you're getting everything in the team there. And then when you smile, people are going to see that big, strong smile. They're going to see healthy teeth. Your dentist is going to be so proud of you and say, hey, you're doing an excellent job. Keep it up. All right. Um, that's it today. That's all we have. You had your dentist visit. I'm going to show you a, a little clip about dentists. And I'll see you tomorrow. I want to see those big, beautiful smiles. All right. See you then.